time is it? High noon, lunchtime in any man's country. It's breakfast time in New York. Don't be so technical, Mr. Randall. It's lunchtime out here. Bust out the groceries. What's our position, Ace? About 1,500 miles out of New York. This coffee mill's still grinding them out. I'm afraid you turned out quite a crate. Still a little tail heavy, though. I can't understand that. Help yourself. No, 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 thanks. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? No, no, no. I'm all right. A little homesick, huh? Yeah, a little. I thought so. Well, how about unburdening ourselves to a news-hungry world? Okay. KHAPQ, calling Atlantic Airport. Give me a call, please. KHABQ, calling Atlantic Airport. Give me a call, please. K-H-A-B-Q, calling Atlantic Airport. Give me a call, please. That's strange. No answer. Better check your transmitter. Maybe they're not getting you. Transmitter tubes on sending set have burned out. That is a doornail. Ha! That is a pity. Disappointing my public. Your sweethearts. Well, cheer up, boys. Absence makes the heart grow fonder. Out of boy. You hear something? Yeah. Ship's haunted. It's Kimpy. Hello. So you stole away on us, huh? I have perhaps imposed upon your wildly known hospitality, Mr. Fleming. I'll say you have. It was unavoidable. You can't possibly realize how important it is for me to return to my country on this plane. No wonder we had a time getting the tail up. He liked to have killed us. <laughs> Mr. Martin, I may still enjoy the distinction of killing you only for the present. I have a very special reason for letting you live. Who knows what the stars ordain? I do. You do? Yeah, because in a minute I'm going to toss you over to the mermaids. You ought to do all right with the mermaids. Handsome boy like you. I shall be sorry to disappoint them, but I have a previous engagement. How did you get on here? Me? Oh, just by submitting to the demands of stern necessity. I had to be here. I have an appointment in Europe. His, his Royal Highness. Yeah, yes, we know all about that. But how'd you get by Blake the Watchman? Blake the Watchman? <laughs> Your faithful Mr. Blake, unfortunately, was an obstacle that, uh, shall I say, had to be liquidated. What do you mean? Oh, he died peacefully in my arms. I killed him. Through the heart. You see, the heart is the most important organ in your whole system. If the heart stops, your body won't function any longer. You see, an elephant, for instance, you can shoot behind the ear. But in the case of Mr. Blake, the watchman, I prefer the heart. Scram, will you? Shooting through the heart does away with so much unpleasantness. Won't you agree with me? Mr. Martin? Say, we've had enough of this. I'm sorry, but the nerves of Mr. Martin are not of the best. Maybe, perhaps, the excitement of a sudden departure? Sit huh? down, you're rocking the boat. Oh. Again, I must impose upon your hospitality. <laughs> you see, my decision to join you was so sudden that I didn't have time to arrange for my itinerary. It's, it's awfully crowded in here. News flashes of the day by the Macklin Company. Since 6 o'clock this morning, no word has been received from the wild goose, now en route over the Atlantic. Millions of men, women, and children wait breathlessly in the hope that this is not due to any misfortune that might have befallen Mr. Fleming, the owner, 
and his intrepid associates, Ace Martin and Joe Randall. If you are listening in, Mr. Fleming, good luck and Godspeed. Why is my name not mentioned? Get in touch with them at once. At once, please. A flash. Police have found a man dead on Tower Road, shot through the heart early this morning. Papers found on the body indicated that the man might have been a Secret Service agent of a foreign country. The United <laughs> States Supreme Court is expected that's right, to hand that's right. down I was there. I saw it. I see it all clearly Senator now. Very neat murder. Quiet, Colonel, quiet. Turn that thing off before he drives me mad. Madness, Mr. Martin, is a very common malady. Can it be that they are mad themselves who call me mad? If you only knew what was going on in this head of mine. If you only knew.